Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's see what we have. Oh, somebody. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we have some indecision here. I use my intuition for all aspects of my life. So maybe having to make a decision. There's some patience needed here with the number five that is usually change. So with being, having this change coming, you may have a choice between more than one person here. We have groups and we have, um, I guess, growth with the universe stepping in here. This is going to be between three people, I feel like maybe even more people there's there's going to be some indecision on which way to go oh because there is a spiritual union coming in with the number two so wow spiritual union wow this is beautiful taurus my goodness so somebody is coming in for you oh and it might be time for you to use that throat chakra time to speak up that's your throat it's about speaking up how you truly feel okay and that is also number five so that is about changing the way the dynamic is by speaking some type of truth i feel so and we have memories of love so this may be somebody from the past i know not everybody wants to hear that but it is there so this person may have memories of how loving and beautiful you are as a person within. So let's do some tarot. <laughs> Spirit's definitely coming through here. We have the tower card. So boom, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Spirit says, um, we're going to help you make that decision. We're putting somebody in your mind that you can't seem to shake you can't get them out of your mind and you may be having dreams about this person you may be having um thoughts whenever you're by yourself and this is spirit's way of saying um it's time to change things in your dynamic that you are in right now and it's time to make a decision so we have the three of wands here so you may be waiting for something but I kind of feel like you're waiting for ships to come in here. I almost feel like it's like, hmm. You may be waiting for someone else to say something. Yeah, you may feel like there's not a lot of hope here when it comes to this person. Maybe you feel they've already made a decision. Hmm. But with the spiritual union in the universe in um, the middle here, I feel like that is a huge dynamic when it comes to this working out. This is going to be beneficial some way, shape, or form, I'm feeling, especially with the universe coming in here and pulling the two of you together. You may have some good news coming in or somebody has news that they want to tell you. And with that throat chakra, I'm feeling they may have made a decision about a certain somebody maybe they're already with and decide that um, they want something different or you want something different. All right, Taurus, what do we have in the heart of the reading here? Ooh, <laughs> that one really wanted to come. <laughs> justice. So justice is here in the upright. And this is telling me that somebody's going to be receiving some karma. There's some karmic debts that need to be paid, whether that's you or your person. Okay, that one wanted to come. Yeah, you may not be satisfied right now. And you may be feeling that your wish fulfillment is not being fulfilled with this person you may be with already if you are in a union. If you're single, you might be doing work on yourself that's made you realize certain aspects about yourself. Um, and I kind of feel like if that healing card doesn't come up, I, I feel like a sense of healing. 
Okay. So I have a King of Swords on the fence here. That indecision still, um, still thinking about something in particular or someone. It could be you or this could be your person. Take it how it resonates and not everything's going to resonate for everybody. Okay. So if this is not your story, then it's just not your story. Okay. I have lots of other videos you can have a look. Maybe something else will resonate with you. Let's see. King of Swords here. Okay, I've got the Queen of Pentacles, but that is the only one I'm taking because that's far too many. So this may be a Queen of Pentacles is thinking about a King of Swords or vice versa. This King of Swords may be making a decision about a Queen of Pentacles. And this may be something that Spirit is wanting them to look at. I feel like this person's getting flooded by memories of love from about you and this person. Yeah, somebody wants to work together or work something out and they are feeling a loss here. It could be that this other person here maybe did something in just that wasn't balanced to them. Maybe they work with them. Maybe you work with this person. Maybe this is somebody that you're thinking about for loving memories. Maybe you are the one getting the message, but the Hierophants here. So maybe they are awakening. They could be finding their purpose. They could also be thinking of marriage or they are married to somebody here. So let's see here. And with the five, with the Hierophant, that's changed once again. So something is definitely changing here. Some type of dynamic. When we have Aquarius here, um, with Justice, um, that's Libra with balancing the scales. So, and with the Tower, that is, um, I'm trying to think, Mars. <laughs> that's um, dealing, how you deal with your life. So this is something that's majorly changing with this arcana here. And you have three different arcanas and different placements here. And in the very first beginning, they want you to realize there's some ch change that needs to be made here and some type of patience that's needing um, to come from this. With the universe, I feel like this is divine timing yeah, we have the Empress on the bottom of this deck here that I'm going to clarify with. So this may be an Empress I'm talking to, or this is somebody, this person, your person is thinking about Empress, okay? This may be you that they're thinking about. This could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates. I feel like you know there's something coming in for you. If you are this Empress, I feel like you've done the work and done the healing. This has to do with the relationship. This is to do with love. This is to do with spiritual union. And I feel like if it isn't love, this is somebody you're meant to do something with. So I might end up doing some other cards here. So let's find out what that tower is about. Yeah, there might be some news that you're going to learn that's going to really shake up your world. This is going to be something I'm feeling that is something that you're passionate about, maybe um, that you hear about, that's going to change everything for you. What's this Three of Wands here? What is that here? And we're going to ask what is holding this person back? Okay, so somebody's manifested this. This could be a Capricorn that is manifested something that they're waiting for or waiting for these <clears throat> ships to come in. And this could be a Capricorn with the devil energy here and the magician. And they're both major arcanas once again. So this is telling me these things are major changes here for you. And with the Magician, you have all of the tools in your toolbox to be able to transmute things, negative energy into love. I feel like you're an alchemist here. And with the Devil card, this could be something that 
any negative things that come towards you, you're able to transmute that to love. And I feel like you realize that this is something, enabled to manifest things, you have to have love in your heart, have a pure intention, have pure heart. And I feel like this person, if this is you, um, and I feel like I might be talking to an empress, it could be a masculine, but um, like I said, take it how it resonates. This is somebody that, hmm, I don't want to say they're toxic. Maybe this is something you've manifested. This could be ambitious. This could be something you're um, passionate about that has to do with some type of ambition here with the Capricorn is ambitious. So let's see, what's with the Aquarius card here with the star? That one wanted to come. Let's see if anything else comes out first. Nope, well, we're going to take it. Ah, it's the King of Wands in the upright. So we have a King of Wands here and a Queen of Pentacles in the upright. We also have a King of Swords that is on the fence. So this could be a King of Swords and a King of Wands that are interested in this Queen of Pentacles. Now this could be a boss lady. This could be somebody that's ambitious, that is um, well off. Okay, and this could be holding this king of swords back because she has money and this may be an incentive for him to stay. Now, somebody is feeling like they have no hope here with the star in reverse here with this king of wands. So they may feel like they're out of the running here. When it comes to you, if you are the queen of pentacles. Now, what's this page of wands? What is this news? Ooh, some type of betrayal, deceit, and lies that have been told to you or your person, okay? So something is really changing here because of this deceit, and somebody's really seeing what is going on here, Taurus. This may be you that you're seeing about a Capricorn that somebody has manifested something bad for you, okay? If it's the devil, something toxic could be that they're abusive it could be somebody that's trying to bind you to them this could be this king of wands here but they're not having any luck with that with the star in reverse okay and i feel like that is somebody that's really has no hope in hell of doing this to an empress if they are in fact putting black magic on them. This tower here with this news is really going to change somebody's perspective, I feel. I won't be surprised if the hangman comes out. What is this justice? Oh, King of Pentacles is in the heart of the reading. We have three masculines here. Could be feminines showing up in their masculine side, so take it how it resonates. If you have three feminines in your life that are um, in their masculine side, being domineering or being that taking charge kind of energy, they could be feminine for you. They also could be masculine and they might be here um, because maybe you are single. Maybe they're trying to get out of a relationship to come to you. So we have the Eight of Wands in the middle of the reading here in the reverse. So somebody is getting karma and they're being held back from you because of that karma. And this is your <laughs> significant other, the king and queen go together. This is a divine union or a soulmate connection. Could be higher level even. But in any case, they're showing up as the King of Pentacles. So this could be all three different people, or it could be the Emperor that if he shows up, then it may be just the Emperor's energy coming out as the King of Wands, as the King of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. But I'm kind of feeling like this might actually be more than one person. So let's see, what is this Nine of Cups in reverse, please? <laughs> Didn't I say I wouldn't be surprised if the hangman came out and the hangman came out? So there's a different perspective somebody's seeing about certain people here. Now, the, they could all be 
grouping together to bring bad things towards you, but there may be one here that actually is in love with you. They are, somebody is not satisfied where they are right now and they have a different perspective about something or someone. Now this could be somebody they are married to because of this um, hierophant here or it could be just that they want to marry you. What is this Queen of Pentacles here with the King of Swords? Okay, so there is somebody that is receiving karma we have the King of Pentacles that may be receiving karma with the justice, or this King of Pentacles is receiving justice um, and someone else is receiving the karma. And bad luck here. I feel like it could be um, with this Queen of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune here, if they go back with this King of Swords, they're going to receive this karma. Okay, I don't feel it's you that's receiving this karma and unless you are this king of swords and this queen of pentacles is here thinking about this king of swords here and their karma maybe they are seeing maybe you are seeing the karma that they are experiencing or that you know that if you go back to this person you will receive their karma Okay, and you may know that already. What is this working card here? The Three of Pentacles? This is a teammate, a team player, somebody that's going to cooperate, a harmony here. Hmm. Somebody's giving up on working with you or wanting to work something out with you, or this is you deciding that you don't want to work something out with someone, okay? And you're in the Five of Cups here. You're a little sad about something, or this is your person. Oh, this is your person, because the Empress is here in reverse. So this could be the Empress that is feeling sad. She can show up in reverse and be that loving side, be sad and kind of depressed about something here. Why is the Empress in reverse? This is kind of like a codependency issue or there's fertility issues here. Can't get pregnant maybe and is sad about that. Hmm. Somebody's watching her or she's watching somebody here on social media, I feel. Hmm. What's on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> you are a badass, okay? You're full of life, love, and possibilities, okay? So don't give up on yourself and believe in yourself, okay? I'm kind of feeling that um, don't let somebody um, make you doubt yourself okay you need to believe in yourself and have your confidence don't let anybody try to make you doubt yourself or your intuition okay so let us see here let's do the love cards i just love those cards or we could do the kipper hmm. i'm being kind of drawn more to do the kipper so we're gonna do that oh the word of lord oh, okay the High Lady of Love and Compassion, and the Hawk Prince. So I, yeah, there's, there's some, these don't belong in this deck, and I, they came with it when I picked them up. So, and then we have a main female. So let's see what we have here. What is the Page of Wands with the Tower? This news that's going to shake shit up. <laughs> okay, it has to do with a family room here. Somebody and oh, okay. So there may be somebody experiencing poverty or their family members maybe because of something that needs to change here with this news. This could be um, that you find out about this family is experiencing this tower. This is karma coming through for somebody here. Now this could be family members in your in your family or this could be your person's family. This person that's coming in that has these loving memories of you. 
yeah a change once again here okay and this could mean that somebody's moving out of somebody's house here because they have their car packed here they're getting their luggage and they're bringing it to the car so somebody may be um, moving away from this Capricorn or has manifested something here and now it's this blessing is starting to come together and I feel like this may be somebody that has been wishing for this and f maybe has lost faith that it's coming in this spiritual union but somebody needs to speak something here with this this throat chakra okay so and it has to do with the king of wands now this is a very nice looking man we have courtship on the reverse on the bottom of the deck and i feel like this may be something they're thinking about doing and um hasn't happened just yet but it's coming it could be four days four weeks four months from now i'm not gonna say years because that's a long time to put your life on hold for somebody <laughs> that doesn't happen you shouldn't be waiting for anyone um just living your life and doing you and whatever's meant to come in for you will all right yeah the distant horizon something is coming in uh fairly soon we have the number nine here so maybe it's between four to nine days four to nine weeks i don't want to even say months here because i feel it's going to be even sooner than that so what is this <laughs> okay now remember you're going to hear some more news about some type of betrayal some deceit some lies and this may have to do with your family now this may even be somebody in your family or close to your family this is somebody that maybe you have um broken it off with this could be an ex because they are having loving memories of you okay oh and they see harmony here with you and that you're empathetic so you may have a lot of empathy and you may even be an empath so and you can pick up on things okay and be very intuitive and see that certain things are what they are and you just have a knowing you may have visions of this or you may even hear um your spirit or ancestors or your spirit guides telling you little bits and pieces to help you put the puzzle together to figure out what you're meant to be doing here and it's important to think about the numbers that come up because those are angel numbers that you can look up and you may even find a message that you hadn't anticipated Okay, let's see, what is this deceit? Ooh, has to do with some unexpected income. Somebody is plotting something here about some income coming in. They may be gifting you something as a way of luring you in. This may be something that's genuine, or it this you're gonna have to use your intuition on this because this to me, um, with the number nine, this is usually fruition. So this is something that they're hoping to have and this looks like that's this king of wands that has no faith that this cut is coming in but it is coming in in the distant horizon hmm <laughs> so wow somebody i feel like this family may have been well off at one point here and this change here it's going to show somebody here somebody that may even be an alchemist that somebody is toxic in their family and that they're waiting for the ships to come in with divine timing and that it is coming in and they may not be having a lot of faith with this but somebody may be after this income that you have there's lies deceit they may even be um this may be somebody close to you that's lying to you about a certain somebody. I'm feeling that vibe of not wanting you to get together with somebody in particular. And I've had this before where I really felt like this is more than one person because we do have two, three people here three masculines, one feminine. And it's a group of masculines that I picked up before. And they may have all been listening to this one person who has been lying to them about you and that that's not who you truly are 
and they've got them convinced to help them do things, maybe a smear campaign on your name. And let's see what else we get. What's the King of Pentacles in the heart of the reading that's getting justice here or is experiencing karma? Because it looks like they're stuck here. They're not able to move forward and the Justice card is with this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles could be getting karma. I feel like they're all going to get karma. This King of um, Swords also has the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is bad luck. The King of Wands is experiencing um, poverty within their family. Um, they may hear some news about this. And remember, um, whatever bad juju or hoodoo or um, voodoo or whatever black magic anybody might be putting on someone and black magic okay is somebody that is wishing or hoping or saying out loud that they want something bad to happen to someone else okay and it's never with a good heart it's always with um, malicious bad intentions and uh, that is black magic okay so if you and you can just say things like gossiping about people and that that there is you're helping that person you may end up feeling that um, what comes around goes around kind of cause and effect and you may even experience your own karma because of saying more things about somebody that is a lie, that this person has lied to them about. And this is a huge betrayal for somebody here. I feel like this is like somebody they felt was family, even if they're not of blood. Okay, this may have been a brotherhood here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so there's the courthouse here. Now, with that marriage card here, somebody may be getting a divorce, okay? And um, they could be losing some money because of this person. This person may have been plotting to take their money the whole time. They may have been trying to keep this person stuck, and they're all receiving karma here. They all are. And if it's not them directly, it's within their family, okay? Because if, if you do black magic to somebody, you're not just putting that on you. You're also putting it on your future generations that are to come. So your children and your children's children. And this could end up being a curse because it's with evil intent. It's with bad juju. It's, it's with bad <laughs> intentions. And... We all know to be a divine person, you are have to have a pure heart and you have to have good intentions, not only for yourself, for others. And there's no jealousy or anything like that. In fact, you might even say, oh, I, I like your outfit. You look really good. And it's, it's not something you're feeling in your heart for anyone else except for love for everyone and, and respect. And that's, that's just who you are, right? But this other person here that's lying to everybody else, I feel like you may know something about them. And now these people are starting to see. Let's see, what is this hanged one here? And they're not satisfied with something here. They may have ended up losing some money, um, maybe family money with this person in, through this divorce, this King of Wands. And this King of Pentacles may end up going to court over something here. So... They may have tried stealing this money from you or your person. What is the hanged one here? Yeah, <laughs> this person who's unsatisfied with whoever they're with, okay? This person that's married, this king of pentacles here, maybe an official person. They're a, they are getting karma though, okay? Now, this official person could be somebody that's within the police or military or um, somebody that's of service for their country that's there to um, fight for rights for all, for all people, right? Now this person um, may have been somebody that has already done a war or they are a vet or take how it resonates. We have 22 here, which is a master number. 
we have five in the middle of the reading, which is that courthouse, okay? Two and three is five, okay? And we have nine, and that nine has to do with fruition. And this is somebody, this news here, okay? And this has to do with official person. So this person might be um, from the military, and if it's not that, it may be. I'm also getting that they end up, they may end up getting arrested by the police, okay, with this courthouse. So maybe something went down that was um, to do with this King of Pentacles and their money, okay? So this may be somebody that's tried to steal something from them maybe he did steal something from them maybe they didn't know who stole it and now they're finding out that it wasn't who they thought it was um that they smeared this feminine name about it may end up being this king of swords because this king of swords is getting bad karma bad 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 luck this is karmic debts being paid and spirits making sure this is all going down because the universe is here, okay? The universe card is here. So this is spirit taking care of something that needed to change. Somebody refused to change something here or refused to see something. And now somebody has realized or heard about and is now realizing that they may be in a whole big thing of trouble here. Now, let's see, what's this Queen of Pentacles with the King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Please tell me, spirits. What didn't they see coming? What doesn't she see coming? I want to say her because the Queen of Pentacles is here in the upright. And it's about making a decision about somebody. Yeah, somebody's got thoughts here. Oh, shit. I'll be right back. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, and we have a mature woman here. Okay. So we have a mature woman here. That was on the floor as well. So somebody is having thoughts about this woman um this could be this king of swords here that's thinking about the queen of pentacles who may be a mature woman so somebody that is um maybe 40 plus 30 plus i want to say somebody that's a bit older that's kind of been around the block a bit and kind of knows a little bit about love Oh yeah, this has to do with um, possibly somebody that does not believe in her occupation. Okay, so maybe she believes in something or does something in line of work that maybe is spiritual or is something to do with religion I'm feeling. Even though I don't have any religious anything here, I'm kind of feeling that it has to do with something about that somebody's occupation now somebody's reflecting or assessing and it has to do with spirituality with the number seven and that's about knowledge about spirituality so maybe somebody's learning it a bit about spirituality and realizing that it's not what somebody was telling them or that they have the wrong idea about this person that they're making a decision this decision that needs to be made okay about this love and that's number six that's coming out of conflict so um, number six is rest restoration communication and or cooperation and harmony okay what's somebody giving up on when it comes to work but who, yeah, somebody's realizing something's not going to work. Hmm. Could be somebody's giving up because they have bad health. Maybe they don't want to burden this feminine. Um, maybe they found out that they have something here. With the number four, that's structure, stability, and manifestations. Now, this could have been because somebody has um, put black magic on somebody and now it has come back to them because what goes around comes around. And if this is a divine person, 
they're going to be protected by the most high so by spirit in the universe and they're they're not going to experience whatever you're trying to put on to them they are already knowing what they need to do to protect themselves and their energy let's see and number four is about structure right and stability and so let's see what's this page of swords and the empress in reverse that's sad oh somebody's going to receive a gift here or oh i see <laughs> this masculine is watching this empress and they're sad because this empress maybe isn't codependent anymore i feel like even though she's in the reverse they may have thought she was codependent and now realize she was the gift they may have asked for a beautiful love to come in for them and maybe they had a lot of people come through that they thought might be their person and I feel like they chose wrong now they're watching that this gift this blessing that they didn't take maybe marrying someone else <laughs> They're going to take a leap of faith with someone else. They feel like a fool. Yeah, this person may even have been taken, okay? Or this is you. You got into another relationship. You took that leap of faith when it came to somebody that really does want to marry you. And this is a new person with the... <laughs> You may have said goodbye to the old and in with the new. All right, Taurus. And when I say goodbye to the old, I mean, if you just met this person not long ago and you were in a relationship, but you wanted to have that leap of faith with someone else, maybe you weren't married to them, but this is somebody that you can see yourself marrying. I feel like this is someone fairly still new to you, even though you have met them already, okay? Yeah, with those memories of love that's in this person's heart. That's on the bottom of the deck, yeah. Somebody is definitely in despair, okay? With the number five again, that is that change. And this person has to realize that something needs to change here for this to come in they may have be experiencing bad health and this may have to do with this person that was after their money okay this news and this betrayal somebody might go to jail here somebody's being held back here somebody's family is um, in poverty and this they may have been well off and it's all because of this group of men that wanted to do something to a feminine all because of one person that was telling lies and they're all receiving karma when it comes to this ma uh, mature woman and there's thoughts here of this mature woman um, about what she does for a living and they're receiving karma here. This is all to do with the choice and love here. And somebody may be receiving that bad health here <clears throat> and realizing this feminine was the gift that they were actually asking for from spirit at one point in their life. It may not have been lately, or maybe it was. Maybe somebody felt they were never going to find true love. And... They chose wrong. Wow. I want to know what goes on after this. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I want to know. So let's just get a couple cards. We won't do much here. Okay, somebody's sixth chakra. Somebody's eye is opening. Somebody is awakening here. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have the community card here. So this may be... Um, three masculines here that is in a community of seven um, because the number seven is here right and that's reflection assessment knowledge and spirituality and with this community these three men there may be three women or four women as well they're all kind of doing something here with 
but your your third eye is open i feel and i i feel like you see right through these people and they're false falsehood oh the temple path see i feel like if you are this feminine you may already be on your right path and if you're this masculine that's meant to come in here you may be getting some karma but you're realizing that you're meant to be on a certain path here and with three that's creativity groups and growth and i feel like you've grown from this experience of somebody that's really um you were not expecting to stab you in the back this may have been family or someone you saw as family what else yeah all tied up and indecision again because somebody hasn't made that decision and they want to but maybe they're afraid of change and this change 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 three times comes up and i feel like the time is running out for somebody here or they're they're feeling that way what is one more card here goddess of the moon so this is kind of telling me that you see through bullshit <laughs> you see what you need to see you see through that the lies or deceit or things that are hidden or hidden agendas and you see it for what it is okay and with the number seven there you reflect on it you assess it you gain the knowledge you need to learn and you're very spiritual so i feel like you you see what you need to see and you move on from there <laughs> all right so this feminine i feel is going to get a victory with whoever she's meant to be having here that comes through but this person needs to be patient here because they're being held back until they do the work now whether that is the king of wands the king of pentacles or the king of swords you're going to have to discern between these choices now you have indecision twice here so there's going to be two that you're not sure about and one that you are definitely sure about and i feel like that's going to be your person if you're still undecided about two people um there's somebody definitely here that you're going to get a victory with or they're going to feel like they got the victory with you okay but there is throat chakra here so somebody needs to speak some truth here now whether that's you or your person you will know whatever your story is and resonates for you so just take what resonates and leave the rest give me that thumbs up if you like what i'm doing don't forget to like share and subscribe become an oracle a divine one at that and we will see you next time stay blessed all right later